in surah al hadid chapter 57 verse 20 very long surah so i'm not going to read the whole surah i mean long verse let's read the beginning and the end of the verse here what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a'lamu bismillah rahman rahim a'lamu annama al hayat ad dunya la'ibu wa lahwa wa zina he says let it be known and he says i want everyone to know a'lamu let it be known that's why we have a khutbah to remind ourselves innamal hayat ad dunya la'ibu wa lahwa wa zina says the life in this world is a life of all play amusement show beauty attraction so we must not let these things distract us enjoy the beauty enjoy the bounties that allah has given us nobody say no remember nobody say no we look we have already mentioned that in many khutbas enjoy the ni'mah and bounties Allah says, and proclaim the bounties of Allah when Allah bless you with it. But don't let the bounties make us animals. Don't let the bounties take away our human qualities of not caring for the poor, the weak, the humble, the orphans. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Major disaster. Major. That's why Allah is saying, let it be known that the life of this world is only attraction and play and amusement that we all run behind that's why we want people of you know when you're going to play football you want people who could play your game right right Hafiz you won't play football with me I like to play cricket I can't play I don't like to play football because when I were in college and I played football a couple of guys kicked me all over my foot and I said that's it no more football <laughs> you can get some hard kick so you will not play football with me because I can't play football so you play football with footballers so that's why in this world of play and amusement and show, those are the people we hang out with. Those are the people we get joy and happiness with. Those are the people we get pleasure with. Who is of our caliber, money, class, status, job, position. Oh, poor half his servant. These boys are just half his. They're little boys. When you're in D in your little, you're nobody. Because they look at your humbleness as weakness. That's how shaitan whispers into our hearts. And Allah is saying, What fil amwal wal awlad. He says, not only is the life of this world distraction with beauty and wealth and power and amusement, but it's boasting and competition with wealth and children have you sit down and listen to pro wealthy people talk my son is a doctor this one has been a engineer a engineer or engineer i don't know what they call him but any engineer this one <laughs> this one has that already bought him this property already brought him this car already bought him this did you buy him jannah oh not yet not yet not yet after he dies i'll buy him jannah yeah you want to wait for him to get an accident and die and then buy him jannah but we boast of what we have given our children, what they have, who they are, what they will be. Subhanallah. Well, listen, don't hate Sheikh Shafiat for this, eh? This is what the Quran is saying, chapter 57, verse 20. And if you have to hate it, go tear it off from the Quran and you deal with Allah. 